Hey guys, namaste, namaste and, and welcome, welcome to, to Endless, Endless Voyages. Voyages. I'm Nupur and I'm Varun and today we are in the capital city of Rajasthan, Jaipur. Jaipur. So guys, we are here only for the weekend and there are so many places to see. So Varun, what are the places that we are aiming to see? So today we are going to explore Patrika Gate. After that we are going to head towards Gator Ki Chhatriya, followed by Amir Fort, Shish Mahal, Panna Meena Ka Kund. And we are also planning to see City Palace and uh, Hawa Mahal and uh, try some local cuisine do some shopping and there are so many things to do so we don't know how much we will be able to do it but let's see so guys are you ready to explore jaipur with us let's begin Right now we are probably at one of the most Instagram places in Jaipur, the Patrika Gate. Located in Jawahar Circle, Patrika Gate symbolizes the eight gates of the walled city of Jaipur. It is a beautiful amalgamation of the rich heritage of the city, including the portraits of the rajas, the forts, the palaces and even the depiction of gods and goddesses. Please take a look. Right behind us is the iconic structure of Jaipur, Hawa Mahal, also known as the Palace of Wigs. What makes this palace so special is that it has 953 windows called as Jarokas, built for the royal women to enjoy the processions and events taking place on the streets. Now back in the day, due to the Parda system, these royal women weren't allowed to come in the public view. So they used to come on these windows and enjoy the events taking place on the streets. The Hava Mahal was built by Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh, who was apparently a great devotee of Lord Krishna. And that is why if you see the structure, it is built in the shape of a crown of Lord Krishna. Currently at Gator Ki Chhatriya, a beautiful resting place for all the Maharajas of the Kachwaha community who have ruled the city of Jaipur, including the founder of Jaipur city, Raja Savai Jai Singh, have been cremated. Apparently, in the 18th century, Savai Jai Singh too himself chose this site as a resting place for all the rulers of the city. Now, to visit this site, the entry fee is Rs 20 for Indians, while that for foreigners is Rs 30. hills and nestled at the foothills of the Nahargar fort, each cenotaph represents the taste of the respective Maharajas and is a great visual delight for the travellers. The grandest memorial in this complex is that of Savai Jai Singh II, which is built with white marble and constructed on 20 pillars. Every pillar is designed with ornate carvings of gods, musicians and other artisans. A copy of this cenotaph can also be seen in the Kensington Museum in London. Wondering why this place is named as Ketur Ki Chhatriya. So 
So Gaitor basically means Gaya Kator, which literally translates to the resting place of the departed. If you see behind us, the cenotaphs are shaped like umbrellas. Now, umbrella is called Chhatri in Hindi, and that's why this complex is called as Gator Ki Chhatriya. It's a perfect blend of Islamic and Hindu architecture. So guys, are enjoying our video so far? Please do subscribe to our channel Endless Voyages. Or you can follow us on our Instagram handles Endless Voyages and Travelatics Forever. Right now we are in the inner courtyard of the City Palace Hall of Jaipur. It is known as the Pritam Nivas Chow. And this is the place where all the performances used to take place. And behind me are the Jaroka from where the Rani's used to watch all the performance. And in front of me there used to be a Singhasan from where the Maharaja used to watch all the performances. Another reason why Pritam Nivas Chowk is so famous is because they have four beautifully adorned gates representing the seasons and the Hindu gods. Right now we are at the Pitsal Gate which is also known as the Autumn Gate. Panna Meena Ka Kun, an eight-story step well located very near to Amir Fort. It was not only a source of water, but also a place for community gathering. Our final stop was the magnificent Amir Fort, which undoubtedly is the pride of Jaipur. Decorated by colourful motif pattern mosaics and beautiful sculptures, this is the Ganesh Pole, the main entrance to the Maharaja's private quarters. So right now we are at Shish Mahal which is also called as the Mirror Palace. The beauty of this palace is that the walls and ceilings are decorated with beautiful flowers and paintings which are made of glass. It is said that if you light two candles in this area, it looks like there are thousand stars glittering in the sky. Situated right opposite to the Shish Mahal is the stunning Suknivas, also known as the Hall of Pleasure. Suknivas is adorned by beautiful marble carvings painted with the powder of blue sapphire. One can also enjoy the panoramic views of the Grand Jaigarh Fort from the upper courtyard of Amir Fort. The fourth courtyard of the Amir Fort houses the Man Singh Palace in its centre along with the Zanana where the women of royal family used to reside. While one may take hours to explore the beauty of this majestic fort, we recommend to visit Amir Fort in the late afternoon after the crowds have dispersed and end the tour with the light and sound show at inside the fort at sundown. With this we come to an end to our lovely weekend trip to Jaipur. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please do like, comment and share our video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Endless Voyages to help us bring you more such amazing travel videos from India and around the world.